Hello and welcome for this new solo playthrough of Advanced Squad Leader. I'm Robin Reeve and we will be playing G200 One Story Town. Uh, and this video uh, is uh, about the setup, also reading the scenario card. So, there we go! So, here is the scenario. Uh, it's about uh, a situation in uh, East Karelia, in, in Russian, at the border of Finland. Um, the, the, the designer is very well known. Chris Olden is really a good designer and uh, I'm very glad to play his, uh, his design. So the situation uh, occurs in Petrozadovsk in East Karelia in September, the 30th of September 1941. At the end of August, the Finns had liberated the last of the territory taken by the Soviets by the conclusion of the Winter War. In his order of the day for 3 September, Field Marshal Mannerheim told his armies, the frontier has been reached, the fight goes on. So it's a, the, I think we call that the continuation war. The Finnish offensive in Lagoda Karelia began on the la night of 4 September. By the middle of the month, the army of Karelia had possession of the, of the entire he uh, length of the Svir River northeast of Leningrad and de developed a concentric attack on Petrozadovsk, the capital of eastern Karelia. Here's the aftermath. The Finnish 1st Jäger Brigade approached Petrozadovsk from the south along, along the Murmansk Railroad, while the Finnish 1st Division pressed in from the war northwest. Units of the Soviet Petrozadovsk Operational Group resisted fiercely. The foolhardiness of the Red Army attacks during the Winter War had left the Finns unprepared for the stubbornness of the Soviet soldier in defense. Although, although local commanders in the Finnish army were showing a reluctance to accept heavy casualties allowing large Soviet forces to escape encirclement, Petrozadovsk fell on 1st October after two weeks of heavy fighting. So let's see the data of the scenario. Um, we have well-known uh, boards 22 and 49. Okay, balance, we don't care about it. We'll see that the Finns win about with um, amassing four VP, which are um, geogra geographical objectives. So two VP for building 22 F3, we'll see it on the ASL, VSL map and one VP for control of each of the following buildings. There they are, 22P8 and X8, 49K9 and 07. So uh, four VP could be reached just with the, the four uh, one VP um, buildings or the two VP building and two others. Okay. Uh, seven turns. We will see something. There are special rules for the the, the Soviet um, reinforcements. The the Finnish have some tanks entering uh, immediately. Speaking of tanks, this is a T28 Russian tank, but in the scenario, it's uh, it's one that the Finnish have um, retrieved and are using. So. Uh, uh, I try to find some some images of, uh, of course, um, with copyright uh, uh, permissions uh, of Finnish T28. Uh, there was one in, um, but just a photo in a, a museum or something like that. And on the rear, you could see something that looked like a T26, but I didn't dare because here, the, the Finnish also have an OT-133, which is a, a flame-throwing uh, T-26. So, I prefer to take the image from the the scenario card, which most often, uh, after what I have seen up to now, is a uh, common, uh, yeah, a loud uh, image, anyway. So, seven turns, okay. So, here are the, the, the Soviets. 
it's quite interesting to see what they are about. 10th Reserve Rifle Regiment, first liners, a commissar, two SMCs, a bunch of LMGs and two BA6 to defend, of course, some uh, some concealments to make the Finnish ge guess a little or at least have uh, frontline units slightly protected at the beginning of the scenario. And there are two groups, A and B, with first line units. Okay, one has two T26, M37, and here you have two um, uh, other 226 M M37, a little more squads, and oh, some differences with the machine gun here. You have a rear machine gun here. You have an AAMG, which I don't think will be used a lot. Okay, so here are the fins. Quite diverse units, uh, knowing that Okay, it's a clash, as we read, between two divisions. That's always something quite amusing with ASL, that you have, you know, perhaps something like a square kilometer, and you can have units of two two divisions, not speaking of armies, which are um, acting in the uh, in that very restricted area, but that that's life. Anyway, uh, so you have here elite, uh, CC. Sisu uh, Sisi type troops, uh, good first liners. Those are the uber mentions of uh, Beyond Valor. Uh, and you have 447 second line, which came out in Hakaapale. Uh, here you have um, yeah the the, 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 the Finnish u leaders who uh, have a lesser leadership than usual leaders. Um, LMGs, yes. And ATR DC, okay, they are those are tough guys, assault engineer T types, and you have here more, let's say, uh, normal uh, infantry, uh, five four eight four four seven, okay, LMG and one uh, one uh, Lahti ATR two here, and enter on turn one. We'll see where they can enter, but it's either on the side of this Jaeger regiment or on the side of the, the first division. So you have really a, a good choice uh, between different uh, different tactics. And those two tanks, this is the, how do you call that, Postiuna, uh, which is the T28, then an OT133. They, they didn't give it the, a Finnish name. It's a flank uh, um, flamethrower tank with also has some machine guns okay so this will be interesting just among the finished choices uh, the rules are not very complicated the ec are moderate with a mild breeze from the east at start all buildings are wooden and i have ground level only i marked the vsl map the best i could so i don't forget that because my memory tricks me the both ba6 are radio equipped uh, there are the BA6s, uh, lightly armored, but have a good, uh, good anti-tank capability. The fact that they are they are radio equipped allows them to operate separately, without any uh, detrimental, you know, task check to move uh, as if they were radioless. So no, no platoon uh, movement needed and. As the Russians will st set up first, they are in defense. They don't know which side of the map the, the, the Finnish tanks will come. Perhaps it could be an idea just to uh, have one uh, armored car uh, face uh, one side of the, uh, the, the Finnish assault and the other one, uh, the other side. Um, I don't know. Many things can be made. You also have here um, uh, concealment um, counters, which could be transformed in uh, five eighth of inch ones to trick the fi Finnish player about where uh, those those armored cars are. Okay, uh, commissar replacement is not authorized, but 
certainly noticed that we have two political commissars. I believe adding adding one or two more would be crazy. At least, actually, only one could be placed here, a 9-0, but there are already enough of fanatical uh, political commissars. Okay. Now, this is a rule, the SSR 3. I'm going to perhaps augment the zoom. I realize that if you're looking on a smartphone, it will be complicated. Here we are. Uh, the fins. Yeah, so this third rule is completely uh, complicated when you're playing solitaire. solitaire. Prior to finish setup, the Russian player secretly records which reinforcements group A or B will enter on turn 3 and which will enter on turn 5 as well for each group uh, hold road hex on a northeast south edge. Units of each group enter within two hexes of their specific specified road hex. So, hi, how will I proceed uh, as a solitaire player? Actually, I won't make that choice and try to forget it. At the moment, let's say turn 3, uh, that the first reinforcements will enter, I'll roll a die, I'll uh, select randomly between the two groups, A or B, and uh, afterwards I'll also do a selection of which road can be entered. Okay, uh, so anyway, you know, as the Russian, you don't know how the Finnish attack will develop. Uh, you don't know where the, 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 the Finnish armor will be because it's prior to Finnish setup. So uh, anyway, uh, the, the, the decision of the Russian player uh, is a bet on, on the future. You don't quite know. So um, doing it randomly is not really uh, harming the scenario to at all. Okay. The Finns have Molotov cocktail capability. That's nice against, uh, of course, um, armor, but also against uh, infantry. Uh, Finnish MMC are considered assault engineers for close combat value. Yes, I believe that's perhaps um, something to do, but could be do done otherwise uh, with their pipe grenades that they used against armor anyway but anyway they are good uh, yeah they have a minus one here but only yeah it's only for close combat value against uh, armor and they have an underscored morale factor so, some already have but the others don't have so I, I, I I labeled the the squads just to remember such details because uh, I, I, I easily miss them. Okay, hand-to-hand, -hand, close combat can maybe declared by both sides. That can be deadly. But the Russians who have lower uh, FP perhaps actually have an advantage to do that and harm the the big, big bosses, which are the, the Finnish. Uh, so it can be declared by both sides, yeah, you know, by the attacker, but a defender may also declare hand-to-hand, -hand, provided all attacker units were ambushed and or, and or are withdrawing. So here is the VA cell map. I put the two Russian groups here, Soviet groups, sorry, I don't know if they're Russian or something else. Um, those red lines are the delimitations of the two Finnish setup areas and the Russians simply must uh, set up between. The buildings which count for VPs are this one, two, two VP, and those four here, one, two, three, four. So uh, I'll be setting up the, the the Soviets first, of course, and trying to to think about how to how to stop the Finnish. Knowing that the Finnish are placed here, it's also important not to set up within full view of the Finns. Uh, of course, you can do it by being concealed. Of course, you know that ASL is more about movement than about uh, firing so the, if the Finnish are stuck with prep fire they won't move it's not good for them either so um, 
yeah, there are a lot of dilemmas. So will the Russians, of course, the Russian must absolutely defend those houses here. They can lose that building and still, uh, still win the game. But the, the, and as you see, the this building is quite far from those position, even further from those. Uh, on the other hand, those two uh, buildings are quite close to the finish starting point. Here we are in mid situation. Uh, it's complicated. There are wonderful um, fire lane possibilities, of course. But you know, placing a Russian here or here is nice. Uh, sorry, I'm saying Russian, I should say Soviet. But anyway, uh, you understand what I'm saying. It's common usage to speak of all the Soviets as uh, Russians in historically, etc. But of course, we know that uh, they were composed of much more than Russians. So but if you put somebody here, you, you could have, let's say, a, a Death Star, um, you know, start a Death Star for the for the finish here. Uh, that could just try to, to reduce uh, the position. So, uh, the two uh, armored cars are here. Uh, on this side, as you see, the, the, the two uh, Finnish tanks are ready to be placed, actually. I'll place, I, I must decide what, what side of the, the ball they must be placed, on, uh, yeah, where they enter. Um, with the big problem, uh, th is that they are radialists, so they, they must move uh, in platoon, at least at the beginning if, in, in beginning, if they want to enter the map. So they can enter either between 49 Y1 uh, y and uh, GG6, GG5, so here, or between here and here. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. Along the north edges, yeah, that's it. So they are uh, committed to one side or the either. The the or is in italics in the in the instructions. So it's I believe um, an exclusive or. You cannot have one on each side without. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's do some things uh, here. Uh, okay, we have uh, the advantage with the Russians is that they don't deploy, so you don't have to think too much about those heavy weapons. Uh, I'll put an HMG here because it covers the any advance. You know, if the Finnish move here, they can uh, cut the cut cut the entry. The other machine gun, I'll put it on another place of the, the, the display. Uh, you know, if I put it there, it will be in full visibility here. Uh, if I put it here, the problem with that meter machine gun is that uh, it doesn't move well. So uh, I think putting it here, it can cover slightly the, the road access here and Let's keep at a distance without without being busted by the the finish too much in in the beginning. There we are. Uh, we have three light machine guns which will boost the FP. Oh, even four the FP of some squads. That's always a good thing. And also not only the FP but the the range of those squads. So imagining a Finnish advance here or here, uh, yes, uh, placing Russians here could be really uh, dangerous because the route paths are, 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 are bad. So the, the, the defense, the best defense will start around here, I think, I would say. Woods are not good for defense, but you never know anyway. So... Um, The, the 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 two submachine gun uh, units here would, I believe, be at a nice place here. 
in the building, in the 2VP building, and defending it uh, in, a, in close quarters. Perhaps add, I'll need to add something else somewhere. Um, here could be a nice place to put the machine gun because it covers here with a, even a fire lane. Of course, I must not concede too much terrain, but I'll also have speed bumps with, uh, I'd say, uh, normal uh, normal squads. Um, I think here, the, this LMG can fire up here. Oh, yes. I don't know if I need really... A, Yes, I'm putting it there. You know, I'm I'm doing on the it on the swing. I, I'm not. I didn't anticipate things too much, so I'm doing my my best to to have the the Soviets defend the place the best way. No, I'm not putting here. I'm putting a simple squad here to defend the place. Um, Do they? No, no. The, I can put, uh, yeah, a beefed up one here. Uh, now we also need to defend the the advance of the Finns over here. I think a machine gun here can do some damage, or at least be a menace here. Um, really, of course, I believe many of you will have different ideas and absolutely more brilliant than I have. I'll have. S this squad here uh, in reserve. I don't want the Finnish to have to blast on anything, anybody at the beginning, but having some Russians just annoy them, that's a good idea. Um, I'm putting one here because it can flee or if still possible can go through uh, this place because of the wall. You always must think of the, you know, the route possibilities. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I don't know about the stream. They don't say anything, so it's shallow by definition. Uh, as the ECR are moderate, there's no problems about the stream. So you can have, let's say, yeah, that will annoy. Uh, uh, the, yeah, uh, annoy the finish a little. I don't know how how many time, but. You know, just covering a little thing, little places like that, and you can still go down. And uh, I'm not speaking of making too much sacrifices. Now the question is, the Finnish could try to go around here. So it could be a, a good idea still to have one or two squads just protecting, or at least protecting a rush, uh, a sort of breakthrough, you know. Um, Okay. Oh yeah. What can I do else here? Also, we need to we need to slow down things. So, uh, and the problem is that the far power of the of the squad is not very good. Uh, let me put the north now here. The comp of course, here they they will be hit. Uh, quite immediately that's not a good idea but here just slowing down things ah I forgot so yes the north uh, so they I'm just looking about the the, 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 the both groups they enter on time th turn three or five as well you know a, a road hex on the north east south so north east or south so they are not coming here and they are uh, around the road so they could advance here just to annoy the finish a lot or here just to reinforce the to reinforce the the building and uh, of course up here okay and there okay so we yeah perhaps as a if I, I was in a face-to-face -face situation, I would uh, decide that one group would uh, come over here or here to reinforce that building. But uh, so I would say I I wouldn't um, put too much people there because there would be reinforcement. But the same could be told about here. But you know, so let's let's see uh, if 
randomness will be as wise as uh, non-random uh, decision uh, could, could decide. Here I'm putting a reserve. You always need a fire brigade. If the, the machine gunners leave their machine gun, perhaps retrieve it. Um, where are the holes in the racket? Of course here, oh yes, the Finnish can advance, so you need also to have some Russian, some Soviets, sorry, uh, to to just slow down the pace without being absolutely trashed. Perhaps here also to prevent some Finnish, you know, uh, moving in the open over here and, and suddenly appearing. Here we are. And the, 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 the two the, the two tanks. Hmm, what could they do? Where could they be? Oh where should they go? Um they are I'll place them anyway in orchards, okay? Which is concealment terrain. Ah yes, but the, yeah, but I can't place them concealed because I've concealed uh concealed countries so just they, they, they can stop the advance so if the tanks advance here yes perhaps I don't know what's the most interesting for the finish so I don't know actually um, what can be interesting and if there are two, two, two enemy tanks together perhaps it's good to bunch them no they can be independent of course I can try a bluff, but of course I must play as if uh, I were a Finn. So mm. anyway, also yeah, defending the place, not needing to move too much. I think one here could be at the right. Oh, if it please, there we are. Uh, the question is. In a way, they have so bad uh, armor. I don't want to be afraid just turning the the, the turret. There we are. So this covers quite different possibilities. So so now if the tanks come and move here, oh, well that's less probable, but. Everything can happen in ASL. Um, my question is, do I put them on both sides of the, the the map? Could be interesting. Um, against tanks, what is good tank terrain? Uh, here, the, the advantage depends where the tanks are coming from but it can advance here quite quickly out of harm's way let's say mm. I'm I'm really hesitating and uh, the BR6 yes why not mm. they cannot set up in a building we don't want to be stupid. But I believe if some tank support comes, I'll place this one here. That's that's bad. Yeah, it could flee. No, I, I'm going to also change its cover dark this way so it can really it's uh, shoot and scoot. Okay. There we are. And we have here uh, some good leaders. So, um, Zima. Uh, as a short notice, I always give um, leaders true uh, names of their country. I go on sites which have lists of uh, last names. So, that's what I'm doing here. Uh -huh. uh, here. I'll have the 7-0 Voronin, uh, which will help. The machine guns need the leader's help, even if they don't have negative um, uh, 
leadership because uh, they they prevent cowering so if you need to place a file in or something in this case it's n less necessary but you know it's too bad to lose some uh, concealment so there is a good defense up there boosting morale perhaps I could put those guys here in this, this yeah those are mm, those objectives are not whether uh, those are one two three four yeah here we have yeah, let's Mm, it's very, yeah, it's not very. What if I go here just to help those guys if they break too, e or too readily? So, as I said, uh, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six concealment. Uh, of a larger size. There we are. So we place it, that one, on the true tank and on the other one here. The good thing setting up in woods is that um, you don't need to pass a box check. So. Uh, and here we have fake dummy dummy uh, armored cars I won't I won't expose them too much but well why not here that could be nice it would be a good position if you imagine a Russian wanted to a Soviet wanted to wanting to defend the, that excess perhaps too far-fetched actually um hmm. yes well 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 no that's a bad place i'm really trying to find trying to find something amusing to do but um you know that i, I was tempted previously but they are too close one to another uh Whew. Yeah. They must still remain a threat, not be too uh, visible. Oh, here, yeah, no, there, no. Because the pro if they are not in concealment terrain, they will be easily, they will be revealed, you know, as soon as they are visible. Uh, ah. Why not here? perhaps too close to the station, but they cover the advance here. Yeah, but they don't cover here. So I think that the, the advance here, the possible advance of uh, Finnish tanks should be covered somehow. Yeah, but placing them here is really suicidal. Uh, here could be fine after all. Yes, can. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm trying to. Yeah, the exact orientation of of concealment is not clearly sp stated in the rules, but uh, I believe you should place them in a way that seems to. This place seems nice, but of course the others will be discovered quite previously. So. No, but here. Here, this is quite, you know, a sort of glassy uh, that you don't, yeah, but if I place, them, there's no good place here. It's th those orchards are awful to be placed in, so this could just do a little the job. Yeah, why not? But I believe uh, an experienced player will say, though, no, that, that, that cannot P or it could or you don't know well here is annoying because they're not tracked so to to scoot away is not the best place here well, let's go here they cover also this excess and they give the impression let's say no yes there there they are 
I don't know how you practice it in in true life with uh, uh, let's say in 3D in a material physical uh with physical uh um components but I think the turret covered arc is just recorded somewhere. So now we'll place the remaining uh, counters just to prevent some too much intelligence but the problem is that I'm covering of course key uh, key elements uh, I'm going to push put also some Russian some dummies here and just have one left to cover something uh, just like this but anyway they fire quite quickly and it's good if they are um, a known threat that always uh, can be uh, you know you let they are not in danger but the finish immediately knows that this place is covered so there'll be no surprise in any way you know that there are good units here um, and dummies must be placed in open ground I cannot put those guys in crest under under it here it's useful useless anyway here I also um, hmm, what am I what could I what could I use as yeah perhaps those just okay just yeah, I like to remove that of course there's no boar sighting because you have uh, Finnish units uh, already um, on board so there we are of course uh, there will be some concealment in the end um, but not yet so let's see for each side let's go first up here I'll, I'll zoom a little just to concentrate on did I zoom too much there we are the what are those big guys going to do um, yeah there's a total on the map of 13 24 um, 24 uh, Finnish uh, squads so I can um, deploy three three of them mm -hmm. uh, so I believe two on one side and three on the other as here we really have the the very heavy guys I'll I'll deploy those two placing them here there we are and down there also you know I'll use them yeah that's the question I'll, I'll see what I do with them but I, I, I usually don't deploy the the big guys you see I put mole yule uh, uh, so Molotov unlined, unlined, underlined morale. Yeah. I put that to everybody. So let's go back up here and what will be our uh, advance? I believe, as you see, this place can be taken and the advance can, yeah, there can be an advance here, which is. Uh, out of LOS of those guys but I think have it having a team moving there is also important so what do I have yeah do the anti-tank rifles need a half squad let's let's give the half squads the anti-tank rifles because it's not good to burden a squad with that other units don't the, other, the two LMGs and others don't need to so um, this is my suicide uh, house squad okay um, oh, those are good they are good they are good firepower so I'm I'm putting a motley crew here of people and I expect to go to come down here okay with other heavy hitters and the six, six four five four eight are better not not so much the the no mo most most situations require just three uh, three uh, uh, range 
uh, I believe that the the Finns will aim for the the different uh, one point here, 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 and here. Here in priority at the beginning and afterwards, uh, perhaps up there, but I'm not so sure. Better unhinge the Russian defense. But th this point is complicated. This this perhaps could be easier to to attack. So let's go on. You never can uh, vouch about the future, so those big guys will go f through this place. Um, I, I like to mix them. 8 and 6 is 14. You can go up to 16 with a, with a machine gun. That could be a good idea even to give it to the 648s. Four, six, four there we are. And here, those people who need to move. Yes, a lot. And we still have... I think I'll remove that team and give put those two CC units. Uh, that's really moving through that. But they can move differently, so I'm going to put them here. Uh, the anti-tank things... Oh, yeah. This one and that one will need some anti-tank rifles around. I'm wondering if I'm going to I, I think I'll use the tanks on the other side of the of the of the board because 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 I don't know because I think they need they have better better maneuver maneuver terrain but it's rather stupid to say that also mm. anyway uh yes 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 where is that threat perhaps let it come because this is not an objective if we can move here of course there will be some movement there okay um i will also have a half squad here i'm putting it up usually i put the, the least units under uh, so they, they they don't get in the in the in the way, but you know. Um, bam, bam, well, the ATR here sh should be able to come gently towards this objective. Don't know if there's an LOS, but it looks quite like there is one. Mm. This is dangerous. This is not dangerous. I'm being quite conservative now. In what are they? Oh yes, of course, I'll put them there without forgetting that little puny half squad. And I'll give them, I'll put them here so a little help them advance a little. And <laughs> mm -hmm. there we go. So where are the leaders going? Of course, mm. I believe those see, will see the brunt of battle be complicated. Actually, yes, because if they move here, of course, of course, this is an objective, but this is another one, and this is one. Okay, so I think it must go there. Okay, if they go through there, oh yeah, it's okay. And hope, hopefully, the others will do the job on the other side. So, mm -hmm. Sepaya here, Tolonen here, and 
here because they are little uh, there's a little more maneuver to to do I'll give the DCs I can't give them to the leaders but I, I'm giving it to the you never know uh, those are first liners okay I'm giving it I'm giving the DC to the 838 here and to the 838 here there we are for the moment that's what I believe is the attack from the southeast and now in the northwest uh, I love to remove this so the advance there's no threat but there's one here of course supposedly so if they go up here they will really help and we we, we abandon uh, this objective but I don't know if it's very wise because there could be a machine gun or something there annoying everybody so having double pressure if you move here and put the pressure here of course you'll you, you'll unhinge the defense but anyway things can change so much but here you have quite covered advance that can really be interesting and going up here or crossing here and of course avoiding this place and this place the thing is not is to not disperse uh, disperse the advance and moving up here and here threatening here and here you can really aim at those places but you mustn't either forget that those units up, up up here can move afterwards but uh, depends how you place your men if you can reach them. this is bad place really it's awful if you break you just out of duty um they don't have a lot of range so yeah they're not good at moving in the open i'll put those here uh with a little half squad and give an lmg To that one uh, that little squad will move perhaps around here just to to be ready to greet the possible ba6 you know 20, 20 l against uh, one or zero uh, um, armor is good it's a good good uh, a good atr so they have a machine gun seven 12 okay uh, another advance but afterwards really it's awful you know okay they can move here one two three uh, four five six and afterwards fire but it's not very and afterwards crossing that glassy it's really f scary um, while moving up here can be really interesting I think it's better to 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 unhinge slightly the the Soviet defense, and I'm going to put the the tanks also here and yeah do things. So no. and we can even move up here. So hmm, that would be interesting with the yeah the AT the ATR will perhaps do something better uh, around here. If we are here, uh, they are within the setups. They can go on the half hex and here. Hmm. A lot of dilemmas, a lot of questions. Um, this is a wonder, ga wonderful game. Up they go. And should I still have people? Uh, no, 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 do no gun duel, no, no machine gun duel here, but just placing people here to cool down some, you know, some Soviet desire to to come back. Of course, but anyway, we can get hit from the north anyway. But you know, who does wins? Uh, we don't know where the Soviet decided to put people. So th how many people do we have? Two and a half, two and a half, two. I'll put some second liners just to help here. 
Uh, let's go, let's go. Don't need to be very creative, of course. And it Italo, okay. And Virta, Virta. Perhaps here. How are we going here? Just checking something, sorry. Yes, they have they have self ready capability. Never forget that with the fins. And there we are. Let's go over here. I don't know what happened. Nothing happened. They didn't follow. Okay. So what can be interesting uh, is to avoid or at least to be the first to fire, as usual with tanks. Uh, I'm just looking at the terrain, which is hidden here. I think a tank, the tanks could move over here and, yeah, peacefully, not perhaps peacefully, but at least yeah, have a good advance here and support a little without being uh, threatened here and this little frame throwing thing what I believe is that with such a configuration um, with those Finnish units uh, better not put too much uh, expectations on the on the armor they are there they can of course do good things oh Let's still see how this uh, this tank works because it has three turrets with two special, um, let's say, bow bow machine gun. So here is the note on the Postiuna. Sorry, dear Finnish Finnish friends, if I I don't pronounce pronounce it correctly. So it's like Russian vehicle not note 11 and there's no how do you say um diagram so I'll go to Russian vehicle note 11 to see what what is indicated So here we are BMG factor 2 by 2 is actually 2 FP BMG one is starboard one is the the port for subject there we are and they may fire through the front target facing, okay, and starboard and port, so, okay. So actually within, an, you see, slightly larger than the, actually they can share together the front, the front Kavdak, that's sure, and each one can just swing a little to the rear where it's not shared okay um, okay no CHN change uh, practically I think in, in fact they will fire like a 4 FP BMG with a of course they can they can break uh, uh, there we are separately I think is it said I would believe so, but it's not clear. 2 FP, 2 2 FP, yeah. nothing more. Don't think something is, sorry, I'm going to just look higher, higher place, but no, no, afterwards you have T34, so nothing. So, uh, hmm, what, what happens? I don't know. I'll have to check if there's a problem of malfunction. Oh, I'm sorry, there was a diagram. I should have gone to the note here, F, which was not in the within the Finnish note. Uh, there's the D, which says uh, R is Russian. Okay, F and M. So, okay, it's explained here. We have the same diagram, slightly more pretty than the other ones. And M is classical, that means... Uh, um, when you make a mechanical reliability DR because the the MPR are red, uh, it's like the Russian uh, com 
equivalent if you roll an 11 uh, is the AFL, AFV has stalled so you just uh, spend the you make another DR which are the delay MP include one MP to stop but and you can try to start again etc so yeah it's not immediately immobilized if you if if you roll a 12 of course but there we are there we are uh, I don't think the the OT 133 uh, requires something but I'm just going to check here we are we have the uh, same things yeah D and M so D is just to say that R says it's Russian M it has the same mechanical reliability problems as the its companion tank well nothing really complicated with the M37 slightly more armored than the the previous model uh, D is about the AMG I is about ra ra rarity factor M is about uh, how do you say that the again mechanical reliability and P I believe it was added through uh, Haka Pale but it can have searchlights which has no bearing on a daylight scenario just in case you want to see what it is about P is about here as you see it's a long yeah but only uh, yeah, each, uh, for night fighting you see it's not really our topic here so here we are with the 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 map here ready not absolutely ready now the Russian the Soviet must place its uh, its uh, sniper Petukov I gave him also a Russian name I, I, I'm placing it here or even here so no that's annoying for everybody so here they, they are perhaps because those are the most tough guys so and the I don't know where I ah yes I have uh, Perko who can be placed also at a very yeah, I'd say mm, this is a good place. It's within six hexes of six uh, six enemy units. There we are. Uh, I give them personal names while, of course, they are not SMCs. They are not really snipers in the in the full sense, but you know, uh, they are just markers which indicate some effects on the battlefield. So I'm going to conceal all the Russians, all the Soviets which are out of LOS, which is the case of all of them, I think, unless suddenly I missed a sneaky LOS, but I think, I don't, I don't think so. So, the Finnish just had a peek on who was where, or who didn't want to hide, and as you see, those are immediately hidden there. So, the glorious defender of this 2VP uh, building immediately have an idea they don't quite have an idea but you know the f until the Finns come here seven turns yeah you, you should so did I oh yes I, I missed one here um, and the finish what about the finish what are you going to do dear sirs those are all out of LOS, so no problem. I'm putting them under concealment. No. Obey me now. There we are, baby. And down there. Here we're coming. Of course, I could conceal the, the gun, the, the tank, but it's quite useless because it they will move and when they are in LOS here oh I'm, I'm wondering yes anyway yeah those are just I say protecting units so there we are I believe uh, the setup was done I took some time to to go through the the rules and everything so I believe we're ready. I set the, I set the zoom to seventy-two percent. You always, 
that's a pathetic question I would ask to the developers. Why did they give a 67 and a 100 uh, uh, possibility here? You see, it's really a jump. It's really too much. Most of the time, I would say that uh, uh, 80 percent is a good uh, a, a good um, level of zoom for ASL in the average scenario. So anyway, all in all, I hope you are uh, having uh, some fun and uh, I hope we will, you will follow, uh, follow me uh, for the, the playing of this scenario. I'm going to remove the setup lines because from an aesthetical point of view, they are not the most beautiful site. There we are. So we are ready to go here. And I hope you will uh, you will like the experience, and of course point out all the possible errors uh, I made. Uh, I'm ready to to adapt if you put your remarks soon enough before the next scenario. Anyway, you can put also your remarks if you are viewing the scenario much later. I'll try to answer. Uh, so. As you know, I don't guarantee an errorless uh, gaming. Anyway, nobody uh, plays without other errors apart some very, very, very good players. And uh, I miss some things also. I hope I, I will, won't miss some small specs of the rules. But uh, all in all, the aim is to enjoy ourselves. So, see you later. Bye-bye.